Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Satterton, Pennsylvania. Super excited to show you a product here from Winnebago, which I think is gonna be a game changer for them in the market in terms of what features they have on here. Um, big boondocking type of unit. I'm gonna take around the outside, the inside here, show you some features, see if this might be for you. So this is called the Winnebago Micro Mini Flex Edition. This Flex is a new series from them. Tons of powerful upgrades. This is the 2100BH model. Um, so I'll take you around the outside here. Of course, you've got your front cap here, which is nice. Tons of features on Winnebago's, which come standard, which is why you usually see the MSRPs being a slightly higher price point because you're getting a ton here in one package. Uh, so the one-piece front cap, you've got a power tongue jack up here. Of course, you get your two propane tank standard. Um, as you come along the side here, you'll find you've got a power awning with an LED strip. Of course, some outdoor speakers. Fantastic construction out here. You've got fiberglass walls all the way around. Uh, Asdale backing on those and you've got a TPO roof. I want to talk about this flex edition what that includes um, So the layout is exactly identical to the regular micro mini series, but with the flex edition tons of upgrades You have two panels on the roof. They're both 190 watts each you have 320 amp hours of lithium batteries a 3,000 watt inverter and Truma appliances I mean these are things that you're finding on your hundred and fifty thousand dollar uh, you know class B vans, but you're getting here in a travel trailer So with that being said with the inverter the batteries you can run everything off that system your air conditioner your microwave your outlets Everything this thing can go off-grid boondock Pretty much have your time going out and doing whatever you want wherever you want As you come along the side here power stabilizer jacks push those two buttons your stabilizer jacks are gonna come down propane quick connect under there as you open your storage door on the side here, nice thick doors, magnets to hold those up, of course, why not? Big pass-through storage under this 2100BH for all your toys and goodies. You'll find your solar controller over here, which they've upgraded. I believe this one holds up to like 600 watts of solar an hour or so. Um, so beefy solar controller, which is gonna help with those lithium batteries. Still coming along the side, you of course have tinted windows, which is nice for your climate control and overall privacy. A nice grab bar for getting in. You'll notice as you come down here, you've got quite a few appliances. The Truma AquaGo, instant hot water heater. Freaking crazy. Again, on a travel trailer, you'll find your fresh water tank, fill a spray port outside, little rinse down section. You've got a backer location for a TV, hook up the cable there. You wanna get some power to stuff out here. You've got the outlets, which hey, they're all running off the inverter. You don't have to be plugged into the 30 amp power cord if you don't wanna be. Black tank flush on board, which is nice. Truma Vario heat. All efficient appliances on here. I mean, these are expensive appliances. This is stuff that you're not finding on your regular travel trailers. I think Winnebago is really going to start something here with this. Um, I know you'll find them on a couple other models, but, you know, nothing like on a Winnebago or something. Off-road package, aluminum wheels, Goodyear Wrangler tires, 15-inch lift up here. So lots of clearance. Any of you folks that want to go a little off-grid, off-road. Um, this is going to sit up nice and high for you, give you that clearance. You've got a ladder to get up on your roof, you know, check your seals, your solar panels. You're prepped for a backup camera up here. Of course, have the full spare. In addition to your spray port on the side, you've also got an outside shower with hot and cold water. Coming around the back, you'll see this does have a slide out, so it'll give you that extra space on the interior. Let's see if our side door is open here. Uh, now, this is the pack and play door. I'll throw up a picture here. This door opens up. Bottom bunk flips up. Nice storage that you can have under here. Cable hookups, 30 amp power hookup. And of course your fresh, uh, your city water connection. Your sewage dump for your black and gray tanks. It's up nice and high. Got the two handles down there. And like I said, you do have the black tank flush for cleaning out that tank. Slide out here. I wanna show you on the inside door here. This is where they're adding their, their uh, battery on off switch for your lithium batteries so you'll have the controls right there for that in addition to the solar on the roof you can bring your own panel with you maybe bring a 200 watt 100 200 watt panel along with you plug it into the side there you get that extra solar on the side to uh, keep those batteries charged up again if you want to be off-grid solar will be your best friend for this in terms of trying to keep that charge rate up keep those batteries charged and give you that longer term of being able to camp Step it up, you got the nice steps. Of course, screen door. There's a shade on that window on the main entry door. Coming inside here, give you a quick overview of the layout. Got those bunks, 
your nice dinette that's on the slide out so easy seating for four your bed back here plenty of storage lots of cabinetry still in here for a 22 foot model in terms of storage i'll show you when you walk in you've got your solar controller up here nice to see your charge rates for your batteries your 3000 watt inverter control your uh, main panel here will be your tank level readers your slide out awning controls uh, your water pump you've got 12 volt tank heater pads on your holding tank so that if you're out in colder conditions flip this switch on heat up those tanks then you've got some lighting switches here as you come down you do have a tv on board which is nice big stainless steel sink deep wide plenty of space for you this is going to be some wireless charging drop your phone on here i'll charge for you and you've got extra countertop space and an outlet over here if you want to plug in an appliance got your connect system up here do your am fm radio your bluetooth your truma control for your appliances will be up here so your heater turn on right from there sink even has a expandable end here which is a nice touch plenty of storage up above and as you come down below you do have sink covers some storage here and then a few uh a few nice long deep drawers as well that will come all the way down so like i said pl plenty of storage here on this 22 foot model i mean look you got the convection microwave look i'm not plugged in i got the microwave running i could even turn the air conditioner on right now it's it's insane travel trailer not plugged in three burner cooktop with the cover when you don't need it then down below that you've got a nice big deep drawer pots pans maybe below that you'll find your breaker box panel huge fridge we'll pop this open here this is a 12 volt fridge so freezer up above separate fridge down below this will run right off the batteries with it uh it, pretty efficient fridge it cools down quicker than i think the the gas electric ones um you can be on a little bit you know you don't have to be so level for those which is nice don't have to be perfect open up the bathroom here you'll find a toilet with foot flush shower you know a lot of people say it would be nice to have a sink in here i agree but you just don't have the space then you've got your two single bunks rated for 250 pounds each one above one below a little bit of storage there like i said earlier this bottom bunk will flip upwards so that when you open up this back door all this uh, space back here will be storage you do have lightings usb ports up there for the kids friends get some power to them led lighting throughout of course nice touch very just sturdy quality material i mean winnebago's you can go to the side and rip these all apart and shake the whole unit um you no know, just just well constructed units the big uh, four-seater dinette here this tabletop does drop down to make a bed if you need you got a nice big window on the side here you've got a nice view put the blinds up shades up and enjoy the view you can see there's two cabinets underneath these dinettes you will have storage underneath these for extra goodies that you want to bring you also i want you to peek up here you've got a truma venta uh air conditioner pretty efficient air conditioner again runs off the batteries runs off the inverter what more can you ask for in a travel trailer privacy shade here for your bed in the back and then you also have the overhead storage space here which will pass along storage cubbies you've got outlets usb shade on either side uh, down below your bed you do also have that access to the pass through storage here So this Flex Edition, new edition from Winnebago. Like I said, I think uh, once once people come onto these, realizing the, the boondocking capabilities, really what you can do, you're not really limited to anywhere on this. I mean, you can park up anywhere and just turn on the battery system and and do your thing. Um, you know, that that's becoming a big thing in the industry these days. Uh, folks just don't want to be limited to campsites and that. They, they want to go off grid. They want to be able to park where they want. Uh, again, with the terrain setup this is set up with, the battery management system, all the solar, the appliances. Um, you know, you're talking like you're camping in a nice luxury RV here. So uh, if you liked the video, uh, please try to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up with further content. I got uh, more inventory in here, so 
Can't wait to show you some new Class A's, B's, C's, these travel trailers. Um, so subscribe to keep up with that future content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.